what's up, I'm Nico, and welcome back to my channel. Every time I do that, I feel like I'm on a Disney channel or something. Um, however, the first thing I need you guys to do before we get into today's video, actually three things. I need you guys to subscribe to my channel, hit that red button down below. Second, hit that bell button so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And three, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because we are about to get into some skincare. All right, so skincare, let's talk about skincare. It's pretty important to me. I mean, reason why I have nothing on my face. I need to show you guys how clear and glowy my skin is. Um, I take care of my skin probably like twice a day, every day until I die. Um, skin is very important to me and I don't like things on my face. It's not supposed to be. I like to look nice, clean and fresh and just radiant every day of my life. So I'm gonna give you guys my skincare and the products that I use on my face and I'm gonna show you guys how I use them and all of that fun stuff. First and foremost, I think we need to discuss like what type of skins there is. So there's four different types of skin types when you're looking at it. There's normal skin, there's dry skin, oily skin, and then combination skin. Um, combination skin is kind of like what I have. I have an oily T-zone area. Um, I do have some enlarged pores kind of like scattered over my face and I also have like normal to dry cheeks. So the most that my skin is ever oily is really like in this area. That's like the number one, like right now it looks oily. It's always oily. Um, so those are the four type of skin. So if your skin is more like mine, these products I feel like will work more for you. Um, I don't really have super oily skin. I don't really have dry skin. Um, so these may or may not work for you, but however, this combination that I use works for me. And I tell you guys, it's God sent because again. So, um, I'm going to show you guys the products and I get all of them from Ulta and I'm going to tell you what they are, how much they cost. Um, so if you wear makeup, the first thing you want to do is obviously remove the makeup from your face. So step one slash step one, because there's two step ones if you're not wearing makeup. So the first thing you want to do is get the Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Water. Um, I do all in one with the waterproof makeup and this is what she looks like. Uh, this is a smaller bottle for $3.99. Um, if you're not wearing makeup, then you can jump right into the cleansing. So number one is like cleansing, okay? So I use two different ones. I use Dermalogica and Clinique. So Clinique, the one that I use, is Prep and Start. It is a two-in-one exfoliator. And then Dermalogica, which is a print cleanse. This is a smaller bottle. So this one in the store actually is... $48, but this is a smaller bottle. I can't remember if I pay $18 or like less than $20, so I just wanted to try it. Um, and then the prep in start is $19.50. Okay, so this one is exfoliating. So I don't always want to exfoliate my face because sometimes if you over exfoliate, then you bring too much oils out. Oils out bring too many oils out or you dry your face out so sometimes i use this like once or twice or three times depending on if i wore makeup or not um for like a every day i do use the dermalogica pre cleanse only because it's very lightweight um and sometimes you don't need to like over exfoliate your face because you may like over exfoliate it and then you're gonna start breaking out um so immediately after cleansing i use a toner so this one is a acne this one is Clinique Acne Solutions Clarifying Lotion. It's not really a lotion to me because it's a liquid. Um, I call it more of a toning, toner. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, and this one retails for $17. As you can tell, I've used literally mostly all of this. And when it sets, it's actually all of the cleansing, cleansing, all of the acne solution is at the bottom it'll like settle to the bottom you have to give it a little shake that's why it looks really foggy um and i take a cotton ball or like a cotton like 
round, cut and round. And I kind of like go over my entire face, but I really like soak the solution into my skin where the acne is. Um, and then third step, I take Clinique's acne solution all over clean, clearing treatment. I swear I cannot talk today. And this one is $24. It's 1.7 ounces. Take this guy and I kind of like put it in the problem areas, whether it's in your forehead, your side, your lip, your chin, wherever. After I do that, then I go into moisturizing. So I moisturize my face with a serum like once or twice a week. And then I do a moisturizer every day, twice a day, down my face and my neck. So again, Clinique Gel Hydrating Moisturizer. This one is $14.50 and this is the smaller bottle. Um, they also have a 4.2 ounce with a pump for $28. But obviously this is a lot as it already is. And then I use Calming Water Gel by Thermologica. And this one is $48, 1.7 ounces. And you really don't need a huge tube of this one because again, the um, actual moisturizer itself is very hydrating. You don't need a lot of it. And then I use Mario Bescua Vitamin C Serum. And this one is $45. And this is the serum that I use like once or twice a week, depending on when I actually need like super hydrating face or like not really. Um, I do combat like two of these and I'm using both. I'll put this one on first and I'll put the actual moisturizer over it. And last but not least, to give my face a very nice shine and like hydrating feel, I do use the Mario Bascule Facial Rose Water Spray. This one is $7. This is a small bottle, not the huge one. So. Those are basically my five steps. So I cleanse, tone, acne solution, serum slash moisturizer, and a uh, facial spray. Um, and all of those are very uh, inexpensive, except for like the Dermalogica because this is more of a like higher prestige brand. Um, I was like $48 for this. And then when I got it, I was like, yo, this is amazing. Um, Dermalogica itself and Clinique and Mario Bescule are both very, um, what is the word? I just lost it. They're very good for the face. They're very sensitive on the skin um, and they're amazing. So I started using these products probably in the summertime and I wanted to do the skincare video and I was like, I need the best products to show my peeps. And these products are pretty amazing. I use them every day and if you can tell from my face, they work. Um, and then every once in a while per month, I do use masks and like eye masks. Um, I don't really particularly have a favorite. There's just ones that I use. So I use Sephora, like a gray mask, just like a clay mask. Um, Glam Glows Clay Mask, and then some Sephora Crepe Eye Mask, and some Burt's Bees Eye Mask. I mean, whichever ones they work, whatever get the job done, you know, whatever's needed at that moment. Masks are great too to use, especially if you want to relax and just get your face popping. Throw a mask on, take a shower or a bath or watch TV, whatever it may be. Um, so... Those are the five steps that I do. Those are the products that I use. Um, now, on top of like taking care of your skin and using the right products, um, I think nutrition goes along with that because if you eat like crap and you eat fast food and sugar and you put bad things into your body, then bad things have to come out of your body. So, you know, that's gonna show through your skin. Um, I am a dairy-free, lactose-free, gluten-free diet person, um, only because I'm allergic to it, but I've noticed that those things, when they're out of your body, 
actually reflects more in your skin. Um, I don't eat a lot of sugar and I drink loads of water and caffeine, but I think if you eat a healthier diet and you try to block out those bad foods, then your skin will look a lot better. Um, back when I used to eat dairy, I kind of had bumps all over, you know, and when I cut it out of my diet and then became allergic to it, I realized that my skin just, it's always been good, but now it's like great. So, you know, if you are kind of a person that likes to indulge in, you know, a donut or two, which is totally fine. Just watch your sugar levels and the things that you're eating because if you have a pimple or planets on your face, that's probably why. Um, so yeah. Those are the products. Um, again, cleanser. Acne slash toner slash lotion. I don't know why they call it clarifying lotion when it's clearly a liquid. Acne solution treatment cream. Moisturizers. And a facial spray. So I've showed you all these products. Now let's go apply them on my face. All right guys, so you are in my bathroom. Sorry it's not like super lavish and as I'm moving, I got some creaky floors. Um, but I'm going to show you the products that I showed you earlier, but show you, show you. So this is a Dermalogica. This is the pre-cleanse. So the thing about this one is you definitely have to use it on dry skin. You can like wet your skin and like use it. You're supposed to use it on dry skin. Um, it is a pre-cleanse, so it's kind of like after you cleanse your face, like and clean it off with the clean off the makeup and stuff like that. You are supposed to use this to kind of like get the excess and it like grabs to certain things. Um, it's hypoallergenic and it kind of has like an orangey smell to it, but it's very lightweight. I'm gonna try to get this on camera, like so you can see it. Okay, here's my hand, and I do like three shakes because it's very liquidy. Oh, oh, see, it's ready. Um, but it's kind of like water. And what I do is I take it and I just go all over. Kind of like, it kind of feels like oil, but it's definitely a soap. And I kind of get it on the face and I wipe it all over. And then when I feel like it's like on my face, I take some hot water. I rinse it off. Now, after I rinse it off, I kind of like pad dry my face because I gotta get ready for my toner. Um, so you just wanna pat your face dry. And it's not like drying either, you know, sometimes you get like a cleanser and it's super drying. Um, this one like is oily base slash like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just very lightweight, but it's like moisturizing at the same time. So when I cleanse my face, it doesn't leave like a drying feeling. Um, however, when you do use the Prep Start, the exfoliator, I'm not going to use this one on um, now, but I'm going to show you. Um, the formula so it's like I don't even know it has exfoliating like um, scrub in it so when you do use it it actually does kind of dry your face out and you have to use a little bit more moisturizer with it so that it doesn't be so it doesn't it isn't super dry but if you can see like it definitely has some like leftover scrub in it now that I am cleansed. It's time to use the clarifying lotion slash solution. So I get a cotton ball, like so. Give it a little shake and take it, kind of soak the cotton ball and I just kind of like go all over the side of my nose, my nose ring. And I just kind of like take it all over. 
I definitely had around like under my eyes because that's like usually where I break out at if I do because of the oil. And around my hairline because oily hair leads to skin which leads to bumps. So after I do that, get a little in there. The clarifying lotion and toner actually kind of like gets the rest of the dirt out of your skin. I am actually going to use a serum today because I need to. So we're going to go in with the Mario Vescu vitamin C and take a few drops and I'm just going to let them run down my face. And moisturize them in. A little goes a long way, guys, when you're using these products because they're really good. You don't use, you don't need to use a lot of it. And then, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with the Thermologica. I think I'm saying that right. Calming water gel. This is by far my favorite moisturizer thus far. And she is super hydrating. I literally use like that much. And take it, rub it in, and put it on my face. And on my neck. And as you can tell, skin doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel anything but fresh, clean, and hydrated. And that is what I do every morning and every night or after I work out or if I'm feeling like my skin is dirty. I usually clean my face at least two times a day. Um, sometimes three or four depending on if I'm playing sports or if I am wearing makeup or doing a makeup tutorial or at the gym and I like sweat it. Um, but that is my daily skincare routine. And as I said earlier, I mean, my skin pretty much speaks for itself. Alright guys, I've showed you all the products that I use in my everyday skincare routine. I'll list all the products down below if you're interested and want to buy them. Um, if you guys have any of your own personal favorite skincare products, go ahead and list it down below so that I can take a candor at it. Um, last but not least, can you guys please subscribe to my channel and become part of the fam? While you're down there, go ahead and hit click that bell button so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Last but not least, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. If you loved it, give it a huge thumbs up. If you're subscribed to the fam, just give it a huge thumbs up. And you know what? I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.